Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your computer screen with audio and webcam and your mouse cursor on Windows 11. Okay, so I'm, I will use two software in this tutorial. The first one is Active Presenter, a free software for recording your computer screen, edit your video and export to MP4 without watermark. And the second option is Camtasia 2022, it is the software that I'm currently using to make software tutorial here on my channel. Okay, so I will put the link to this software in the description. Just check it out. And I also have some special discount coupon code for this software also. All right, let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my computer screen. And for the first option, if you want to download and install the software, you can go ahead to the link in the description, or you can just go to the website here. I will put it right here, atomysystem.com, to download and install the software. It is totally free to download and install on your computer. No need any extra information. All right, and here's the logo of the software. Let's double click to open it. Sorry, just click to open it. And this is Active Presenters 8, which is the current version of the software. All right, so this is the start page of the program. As you can see here, we have some templates for creating some slideshow or stuff like that. And right here, we have some recent project. And if you want to record your computer screen, all you need to do is to go to the left side of the software. At this area, you will see the record video button. Okay, just click on that. And then you will have the toolbar here appear on your computer screen. It is very easy. So this is the recording toolbar of Active Presenter. All right. And on the left side, you have the option to record full screen with the, your monitor screen. And you can also select an area on the screen. For example, you can just click this button. And now you will see here, we have an option right here to adjust the size of the, the recording. Okay. But normally I will select full screen. Just select here and at this area you have the option to turn on and off your webcam for example if i can if i want i can turn off my webcam or i can click this menu to select the webcam that i want to record okay just click here and we can select my canon 800d with the eos webcam utility but it is the, the webcam that i'm currently using for this recording and it is camtasia 2021 okay and we are going to select this one, the integrated webcam, and it will be here. Oh, hello. And let's make it close to my face so you can see me. Okay. So you can see me here and here. It's better. And on the right side, you have the option to select the microphone that you want to record. Okay. And you can also turn it on and off right here. And you want to change the microphone. You want to click this option. And here I have some microphone here, the microphone from this one and from this microphone. I'm going to select this one, Tronmark Embryo 1 Pro. Okay, and we can select the menu again because we have an option to record your system cell or not. So this is a system cell. If you don't want to record your system cell, you can click here. Or maybe I can just leave it by default so I can record my system cell. And here you can adjust the volume the volume of the microphone okay so normally i can just click here and adjust it because we don't want to go over the yellow line or the red line here and if you want to dive in more detailed setting you want to click here at the corner the gear icon okay just click here and then you want to select this one record a setting and at the setting you have some option for the audio and video and you can select the video codec that you want to record and you can also adjust the frame rate and that is the expected frame rate that you want to capture okay but for a normal tutorial i will leave it yeah, by 30 frames per second and here you have the cursor so just make sure that you check this box record mouse cursor and make your cursor editable for full motion recording and it is very important because when making software tutorial it is always important to have the mouse cursor on the screen i guess for the cursor effect you can turn it on or off or you can edit it later in the video editor 
okay and for the hotkey you you also have some option to pause the screen recording and stop the, the recording and also cancel the recording okay but for now it's okay just save it and now we can click this button to start our recording and we will have a countdown three two one okay just click here to start the recording three two one all right, so this is Active Presenter recording, and now my computer screen is recorded. And let's say, hello, audio test one, two, three, and let's do something on the screen. I refresh and also refresh. Okay, now we can stop the recording. In order to stop the recording with Active Presenter, all we need to do is to click at the logo right here at the notification area. Okay, just click here and here is the recording toolbar and we see the mode is video and we have some frame rate and drop or something like that and this is the audio level and we can pause or stop the recording right here okay just click here to stop the recording and now active presenter will create a new project for you where you can just cut the recording adjust the webcam add more text to your recording and then export to mp4 okay for example this is my webcam my ugly webcam because it is pointing to the ceiling. Okay, so here's the timeline and here's a preview window. We can just resize the webcam. Okay, and I will put it right here at the, at the right corner because uh, now I have another webcam right here and we can play to hear the audio and see the quality, okay. All right, so this is Active Presenter recording and now my computer screen is recorded. And let's say, hello, audio test one, two, three, and let's do some. <laughs> Very nice, right? And being mentioned that you can also edit your video, like cut and trim your video, add background music, adjust the audio, all the basic stuff of a video editor you can do with Active Presenter. Okay, and you can also insert a text, a shape, or stuff like that. And many things right here. Also, animation or stuff like that. And you can also edit your mouse cursor. For example, you can select the, your screen recording video. And you have an option right here for adjusting the cursor type effect also. Okay, on the right side. By the way, if you want to learn more about Active Presenter, I will put my detailed tutorial on the right, right corner of the screen. Okay, for now, you can just export to mp4 all you need to do is to click the export button and select video and we mentioned that it is a free version of active presenter and they also have a, a standard version and a pro version okay with different price plan which is 299 and 399 <laughs> okay so for now we can export in a free version we want to select the video format mp4 for uploading to youtube and then we can click ok to export the project Okay, it is just some second. Let's click OK to export it and preview the, the video quality. All right, so the export is finished and now we can click Yes to view the output folder. Just click Yes. And here's our screen recording. Just double click to play it. All right, so this is Active Presenter recording and now my computer screen is recorded. And let's say hello. Audio test one, two, three, and let's do something on the screen. I refresh and also refresh. Okay, now we can stop. The okay, so it is very nice, right? So this is the first option you can use to record your computer screen with audio and webcam, and you can also edit your video on Windows 11. And for me, I think it is one of the best software for creating online training video and tutorial like what I'm doing now. Okay, so this is the first option. Let's go to the next option. Okay, so the next option to record your computer screen is TechSmith Camtasia 2022. And this is a software that I'm currently using for making tutorial here on this channel. By the way, in this new version, I have some problem with the screen recorder. It cannot recognize my Canon 800D, so I cannot use it as a webcam. That is the reason why I still have to use version 2021. So I have no idea why and I don't know when they will, they will fix this issue, okay? And this is a screen recorder. We can just turn it on right here.
Okay, so this is the recorded two bar. And we have some problem with the shortcut because currently I'm using Camtasia 2021 to record my computer screen. By the way, it is easy also. It is the same with Active Presenter. You have the recording toolbar here. And on the left side, you have some option to select a screen or full screen or a region. Just click here and you will see all the option here. That is the screen number one and a custom region. Wide screen and also you can record for social media. Okay, so this is option, but normally I will go full screen. So we just need to click here, screen number one. And on this side, you have the option to turn on and off your webcam. We can click this menu to select my integrated webcam again. Okay, because I'm currently using this Canon 800D as a webcam. Just click here and we will see my integrated webcam. And hello again, my ugly webcam. Okay, and that is how to turn on and off the webcam. And at this side, you have an option to select your microphone. Okay, so you can select this one, the MB1 Pro, which is a USB microphone. And select it, and now you want to adjust the volume level here. For example, we can just increase it to this. And this is the button to enable or disable your system audio. Okay, just enable it. For example, and we have some more option here at the toolbar menu. For example, at the capture, you have all the button here on the screen. And at the tool, you have some reference, okay? So this is a reference. Just click here if you want to see some saving folders, stuff like that. In the general, is nothing more. You want to select file. And now you have an option to save the screen according to your default output folder. So this is my default folder. It is in my C drive. And it is a temporary storage folder. It is in C drive also. You may want to change it to another drive if your C drive is full. Okay, if you want to change, you can click this button. Okay, and then you want to select another drive on your computer. You can see here, most of the drive on my computer are full. Okay, uh, by the way, we just need to click cancel. And for the input, you can also select the frame rate that you want to capture. For example, here you can select 30 frame or 60 frame. And here for the encoder, you have two options. The first one is text, text mid encoder. And the, the second one is 8264. Okay. But normally I will select this one, text mid encoder. For the camera, this is the dimension of the camera. We use a webcam. By the way, you can adjust the webcam later. It is similar to Active Presenter. Okay, and the shortcut, we have some shortcut here. F9 for record, pause, and resume, and stop, and with F10. By the way, we are, we are not going to use the shortcut now because it will stop my screen recording also. Okay, and now, okay, yeah, because it is having some problem with the shortcut, but now we can click this button to start the screen recording. Okay, just click here to start, and there is a countdown also. Three, two, one, go. Hello, welcome. And this is a screen recording from Camtasia 2022. Ooh, I can do something. And I can also right click on the screen and refresh and do it something like that. And normally when I start my screen recording, I just start the recording and then minimize it. And then I open the program that I want to teach other people. Okay. And now we can stop the recording by this button. Okay, and it stopped. And again, Camtasia 2022 will create a new project for you. And we use a video editor that you can edit your screen recording, adjust the webcam, and add text, and annotation, animation, transition, many things like that. And you can also adjust the mouse cursor. Okay, let's wait a few moments because it will create a new project. I'm not sure if it, if it has some problem with the video editor because now I also opened Camtasia 2021 on my computer to make this tutorial. Okay, just wait a second. All right, so here you are. This is my screen recording. And you can see here we have a video editor and we have an, a track for my webcam and also we have a screen recording. And you can also adjust the webcam similar to what you can do with Active Presenter. You can put it right here or move it to here. Okay, and this is my screen recording and let's listen to the audio. Two, one, go. Hello, welcome. And this is a screen recording from Camtasia 2022. 
I can do something. <laughs> and I can also right click on the screen and refresh and do it something like that. <laughs> okay, so it's funny. But uh, by the way, there are many options you can can try here. For example, on the left side, you have your media and library, favorite, annotation, transition, behaviors, animation, and you can also add the mouse cursor effect here. For example, if I want to have this one, the yellow cursor effect here, I just need to drag and drop it right here on the screen. And now I have the effect right here and I can adjust it at the property panel right here on the right side. And for the audio effect, we have some very interesting. The first one is the emphasize and you can emphasize your voiceover. So it will reduce the, the background music in your video. It is very nice. Okay, and for the visual effect, we can adjust the video speed and we can also remove the green screen and add motion blur or many things, many interesting things. By the way, I will make a full tutorial about Camtasia 2022 when my webcam is ready. Okay, and if you want to export it, you want to click here at the export option. By the way, you have to register a, an account with TechSmith. With Camtasia, you, you can try it for 30 days. Uh, not like Active Presenter, you can use it uh, free forever. And after the free trial, you need to purchase a software to continue using it. And the price is 299. And don't forget to use my 10% discount coupon code to save your money, okay? And you want to select local file here or you want to upload it to YouTube or stuff like that. You want to export it to MP4 and then upload it to YouTube you, all you need to do is to click the local file and then you can type a name example for example and then you want to select the location here if you want to go to advanced setting you can click here and you can adjust the project size dimension and also the bit rate or, or stuff like that if you want to learn more about this export option let me know in the comment section below okay because this tutorial is just about screen recording on your window 11 all right, and let's export this one if you want. I will put the final result at the end of this video for you to check it. All right, so that is two very good options for you to record your computer screen on Windows 11. I hope this video is helpful for you, especially for those of you who are teacher and online trainer like me. Okay, so if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For more video like this thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye two one go hello welcome and this is a screen recording from camtasia 2022 Ooh, i can do something and i can also right click on the screen and refresh and do it something like that and normally when i start my screen recording i just start the recording and then minimize it and then i open the program that i want to teach other people Okay, and now we can stop the recording by this button.